So what I would like to do in this video is use the principles of the previous video in reverse. This time I would like to give you a table of X and Y. And I would like us to decide whether or not this table represents an exponential function or if it represents a linear function. So take, for example, the table where X goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and f of x goes from 1, 4, 7, 11, 14. Take a moment and ask yourself, what do you think? Is this function linear or exponential? And you're making that decision. It all comes down to the pattern that you're seeing in the y's position. Every time x increases by one unit, what is happening to the y value? Well, 1 to 4, that's being multiplied by 4. But 4 to 7, that's not multiplication by 4. 1 to 4, that's addition by 3. 4 to 7 is also addition by 3. And that's actually a consistent pattern throughout this entire table. So now that we have identified that the y values are being added by a consistent amount, 3 is added to y each time. The fact that a consistent number is being added each time tells you that the function is linear. And it has the form number times x plus number. It may be traditional to use mx plus b, but I prefer to use mx plus a. Now, since a consistent amount is being added to y each time, the function is linear. And the quantity that is being added each time is the slope. The slope, the m value, is 3, the amount that's being added each time. My next question is, what is the value of a? What is the value of a? And remember from the previous problem that a is the y-intercept or the initial amount. It's the y value that's associated with x equals zero. In our table, the y value that's associated with x equals zero is one. So I would write that the initial amount, the a value, is one. The function is linear. The slope is 3, and the initial amount is 1, and therefore the function has the form 3x plus 1, slope times x plus initial amount. All right, so now suppose I gave you a slightly different table. New example, and here is x against y in this case. If x is 0, this is 5. If x is 1, this is 10. If it's 2, 20. 3, 40. 4, 80. What would you say is going on with the function this time? Do you suspect this function is linear or exponential? To decide that, let's look at the pattern that we're seeing in the y's column, or y's row in this case. In this case, you know, 5 to 10, that's an addition of 5. But 10 to 20, that's an addition of 10. So unlike before, this time there's no consistency in the amount that's being added. However, this time, there is a consistency in the amount that's being multiplied. These y values are being doubled, multiplied by 2 each time. 
So since two is multiplied by y each time, because it's a consistency in terms of multiplication, that tells you that the function is exponential. That the function has the general form, a number a in front, a number b, and that b is being raised to the input x. Not only that, this number 2 that's being multiplied each time is exactly the value of the base. The base 2 is getting multiplied each time. Now what do you think is the value of a for this table? The value of a for this table, just as in the linear case, is the initial amount. If x is 0, the y that goes with that is your a value, just as with the linear case. So this function has the format, the a value of 5, the base of 2, 2 being raised to an input x.